Hello, and welcome to your Year 8 3D Design lesson. My name is Mr. Patterson, and I'm going to be setting your work for your Year 8 3D Design lessons for the near future online. Now, our first lesson is to create an A5 drawing of a flower, or a leaf, or anything natural within your house. Now, we're going to do it on an A6 piece of paper. Now, a standard piece of paper is A4, like this one. What you guys could do is fold your piece of paper in half, making sure that the corners match each other. Once you found the halfway point, you can push it down and then make sure that edge is neatly folded. Once you've got that piece of paper folded in half, exactly, what you can do, if you don't have a pair of scissors, you could always use a ruler, place that ruler exactly on that line you've just folded and you're going to rip that paper pulling it across the ruler at a diagonal at that sort of angle do you see if you put it at that angle you should get a nice neat rip down now half of a4 is a5 now half of a5 is a6 so your numbers go up as you come down in size the same again Fold your piece of paper in half, rip it, and you end up with another piece of A6 paper like I've got here. Now, this is the drawing I did earlier, and this is what I expect. This is a very complicated drawing, so I don't expect you guys to go around your houses or in your gardens and find a thistle like this. What you can do is um, either use the photographs I've taken of the flowers in my house, or you could use your own phones at home and take a photograph of a flower or a, uh, or a leaf. And what you can then do, once you've got your photograph of the flower or leaf, you can zoom into it and change your composition. When you're deciding where to draw your flower or what section to draw, even on a phone, if you zoom in and move it across and think, yep, that is the right composition for me, I'm going to draw that, then that is you deciding what to draw as your for your composition. I'm going to draw that aspect of mine. So I'll move that away for a second. I'll keep that to one side so you can see it. And you are then going to try and draw the same thing on your piece of paper. Now remember, when we're drawing anything, you need to start with the outline and you need to be looking consistently at your reference. My reference is the image on my phone. If you're able to print one off, that's absolutely fine. Or if you can have one in front of you from drawing from first-hand experience, then that's even better. But drawing from second-hand experience, like on a phone or a photograph, is absolutely fine. You're going to slightly sketch out your shape, first of all, your outline. I'm looking at the gap between the edge of the leaf and the edge of the screen, i.e. the edge of my piece of paper. I'm going to try and keep that consistent. The bottom of my leaf finishes around about there. Notice I haven't put these gaps in just yet on my, on my drawing. I'm just drawing the basic shape first of all. That comes up there. And this side will disappear off my page up there somewhere. Then I might do this middle vein coming down my, my cheese pant leaf and then match that up to my outline. And now I've got this leaf coming in and blocking off half of mine. I'll draw that down there. Okay, once I've got my rough outline drawn, let me draw that a bit darker for you so you can see it properly. Once you've got that basic outline drawn, I want you then to go in and look at the other details. So look at where the hole is in my leaf, for example. And then it matches back up to the top. And this bit comes round. Look at where it is. It's about at the widest point here. So I might do mine about there. Draw it back in. Remember to constantly look back at your reference. I'm looking at mine all the time, constantly referring back to see how deep this indent needs to go. 
and I've seen how wide this next section of the leaf is. And drawing that indentation in the leaf again, seeing how far that indent goes, and bringing it back. I've got a squiggly bit on the end of mine. Draw the last one. And then the other details. So in my stem, I know the stem is a bit thicker at the top, so I might draw that bit thicker at the top as well. So now I'm really looking at the finer details of my drawing. So I've done the basic shape. I've looked at the first sort of bits that change my shape or alter it. And now I'm looking at the details such as the, the veins in the leaf and seeing where they, where they go, where they travel to. So the light, one likely travels up there. Coming from that main vein, it goes through the leaf over there. I've got one traveling through the center of that one. So it looks like they're all going through the middle of them. One going through the middle there and one down here. And obviously you might do the same for the other side as well. There's a bit coming up there and here. I'll draw those veins in quickly. And that is the basis of my cheese plant leaf. So what I'm going to do now is start to add some shading to my work. So using the side of my pencil, I'm going to add some tone to my work. And I'm going to look first at areas where it's probably most darkest. Around the top of my leaf, it's all that one sort of colour, isn't it? One shade of green. So you've got to imagine your leaf is actually black and white, and you're using the graphite in your pencil to add those different shades of tones. Here, for example, in the picture, it's got a really light patch on there. So where I get to the light patch, I might leave that quite light around there and go ahead and do the rest of the shading. So make it darker over here. And even when I'm adding tone to my work, I'm always referring back to the picture and looking at the light and dark tones. We don't want to colour all of it in black because that will just ruin our drawings. We want to look at the tone and apply it accurately. So around here again, that little highlight on the edge of my leaf makes it look like it's lifted from the, from the surface on the wall. So when I get to that bit, I'll leave a little highlight down there. All this area is quite the same tone. So I'll try and make that the same tone. Remember that light bit, that's got to stay on the edge there. Even that little light bit there, that's what we need to leave. I'll go ahead and shade the rest of this up here. So using the edge of my pencil, using the side of it, to get a nice even coverage. If you guys have got a rubber at home, then obviously you can rub out any construction lines you've used. Rub out those bits in between of my different leaf bits. And neaten up your work. And once you've finished shading your entire work and you're happy with your drawing, I want you guys to take a photograph of your work and upload it onto Clash Charts for me to give you feedback on and mark it. So this is the first step of our lesson. Okay, thank you for watching.